And finally, our view of the world, certainly in the last century, has often been shaped by the people behind the lens of still cameras. People who used photos were in newspapers and magazines. Marilyn Stafford was one such photographer. She's 93 now, but back in the day, she was a pioneer. She went from society portraits to fashion to unfashionable and uncomfortable issues. A woman chronicling man's inhumanity to man. Now she's exhibiting some of her life's work and reliving some of her memories. There we go. It was one of the early, early Roliflex. I would say this is where it all started. What a career and what a start it had. This was Marilyn Stafford's first assignment in 1948 when she was asked to photograph the brilliant physicist Albert Einstein in New York. He was lovely. He was very modest. He came to the door wearing rather baggy trousers, uh, wearing a very baggy sweatshirt. The original prints from that shoot taken with a camera she was still learning to use are among hundreds of photographs until recently stored away at her home in Sussex. Many of those iconic portraits now feature in an exhibition that tells the story of a photographer who blazed a trail for women in a male-dominated world. Her fashion work captured the spirit of the 60s and featured the models whose names are synonymous with that time. Well, Twiggy, marvellous pictures of her, if I must say so myself, because she was just like a little doll and waif-like and, and adorable. I did photograph Joanna Lumley when she was modelling. She wore clothes so beautifully and moved so marvellously. And look what she has become now. But it is the images of women who are not famous that Stafford is most proud of. She went to India to highlight the plight of rape victims, to Tunisia to photograph Algerian refugees from the little reported war with France, which, because of her pictures, became front page news. The Observer published two of them on their front page in 1958, and that was my first front page. And I was very, very proud of that. At 93, she is still a source of inspiration. Her latest exhibition opens in London this week. An annual award in her name encourages female photographers to follow in her footsteps. Paul Davis, News at 10, Sussex.